Alrighty folks, so this is the setup that's going to be, um, I'm running a bite for setup for my vision and everything. Uh, just to, you know, as my VTX, um, five inch quad running on a 4S. On top, I've got the ZV-1. Now, whenever you are going to attempt something like this, you have to make sure that you turn off uh, the GPS, the built-in Wi-Fi and all that stuff because it might mess with your um, you know like your vtx for the drone and everything so it's a pretty compact setup um not that heavy not that light probably will be flying at around about 30 or 40 percent of the throttle uh, but fortunately sony did release a software which is called the catalyst so we are going to use the sony catalyst software to see how much we can stable so we are going to check whether this project is actually helpful or not I mean, if you are using a Sony ZV-1, whether you guys can complete small projects, you know, small gigs or anything using the one inch sensor or not. So that's a very, very important test um, that uh, I think we can do. And after that, when we are done with the footage, we will also put the Osmo Pocket, which I'm shooting right now on the quad. And we are going to check how the stability works on the Osmo Pocket also. So let's begin the journey. Let's try to fly this quad right now and we'll keep you posted. Alrighty folks, um, well, the test did not go that right. Did it go right or did it go wrong? Well, I would say that um, neither nor, uh, because this test was very, very critical, especially for the Sony ZV-1. There are some takeaways from this test. First of all, we mounted this on a five inch quad. A five inch quad that was running basically, uh, you know, like a GoPro mount, and I have put this with the help of a GoPro mount and that is the reason the vibration was still reaching uh, the camera. So the next step, if I have the resources or if you have the resources, you can still do this, is that make a 3D mount and mount it on top of your quad. So the takeaway from this is that vibration dampeners are pretty, pretty important. As you can see right here, this is just an example from Shendron's Thick. Um, they are using vibration dampeners also for their black magic. I did not turn on the in-body stabilization or um, the IBIS, which is actually in your Sony ZV-1. Uh, you can do that with Catalyst Browse. I took the whole footage to Catalyst Browse. It still did not work out. Um, the first test, the footage I had, I had lost the footage, so it was a whole mess. My next step would be to put a 3D mount on top of it and then use uh, a ND filter for the Sony ZV-1. Um, that, that is what I think will completely eliminate the problem of all vibration and uh, the jello that we are noticing on the footages. Um, I will try to see if I can get uh, any sort of 3D mount uh, for this or 3D print for this. I'm pretty sure I would not. That was it from the channel Tekadu and I hope you guys enjoyed this small experiment. It was not a presentation, it was more like an experiment. And um, I learned a lot from flying uh, like two packs on this and actually doing this project. It's not a fail, I think I'm out of resources. That is the reason I would not be able to proceed with this. Till then, goodbye, take care and have a nice day.